Hi, Jarsa. Katie Zwin here. Today we're going to be drawing Zenitsu from Demon Slayer thanks to all your requests. And thank you for the love that you gave me for all the drawings I've done so far from this um, anime series um, of uh, Tanjiro and of uh, Nezuko. And sorry, I keep butchering the Japanese pronunciation. I know I'm terrible at it. But uh, hopefully you'll forgive me for that. But get your Sharpie or your pencil ready and your piece of paper and let's get started. To draw this cool demon slayer, let's first start by drawing his eyes. So I'm going to come right here, just give myself a point and I'm going to go up with a curve. So this is curve to frame his eyes and then I'm going to slant downwards. So I'm just creating this curve right here. And then from there, I'm going to come underneath that curve and draw a circle. So this is my attempt at making a draw so cute anime eye. <laughs> so now if I circle in, I'm going to come underneath this eye and just very lightly give it a curve underneath to anchor. And then I'm going to come in here and make them draw so cute eyes. So two small circles inside for highlights and a curve line at the bottom and a shade in the top. The only difference is that there's a curve on top and the bottom. So come in here and just thicken this up a little bit more. Okay, so now I have that one and let's draw another one. So I'm going to come right across, just give a little area for the nose. And so about right here, I'll continue the other side. So once again, same thing, go up and down. So I'm starting with the eyes on this drawing because they're anime kind of eyes and so it's a little bit more complicated. So I just want to make sure I have my eyes in correctly spaced before I draw the face. Okay, so same exact thing like the other side. But you can start them however you like, whatever is easiest. Okay, so now I have my eyes in. Let's come to the center about right here and I'll give him this cool smile. Go up slightly and cap it off. From there, I'm going to start to frame his face. So let's come um, out right here, very close to his eye. So let's say the top of his eye, I'm gonna come out about right here and here. I'll give myself a point. And from there, I'm going to draw a curve. So I'm gonna start to draw the bottom of a U like usual but I'm going to try and make it a bit sharper. So my center is about right here. So I'm just giving myself a point so I know where I'm going. Right here. And then go right back up. So this is always the most delicate part. There. Okay, so I have his face in finally. Now for all the details for his hair, right? His amazing hair, which is what makes him very, very um, unique. So let's come right here. We're gonna draw all these very squarish um, strands. So right in between his eye, I'm gonna start with the first strand right in between. And I'm gonna go up and up. So hopefully I'm not gonna overcomplicate it, but you know me, I probably will. <laughs> so I'm gonna come above his eye and let's see here. Okay, let's say about right here, give him enough space for some more strands. I'll come down, start to zigzag down, another strand, go up. Then I'm gonna angle down and then one strand coming down right here and angle out. So just wanna create this. So hopefully that wasn't too bad. Then on this side, let's bring this up. On this side, let's come right here. Once again, we're still angling down. And another one comes down here. So just notice I'm still in the same area. So bring one across right here. Let's bring a big one right here towards his eye and come out. So just like the other side, we're coming out. 
in whatever space you have. Okay, so then in between, right, I mean, for his brow is very important. He has these very unique brows, right? So in this space, whatever space I have left, I'm going to try to stick an indication of these brows. So I'm going to put curve, two angles, and in. I think you'll see a little bit better when once it's colored. Um, so then another one right here. And here, <laughs> sorry if I'm complicating, I'm trying to look at the drawing here and make sure I have it correctly. So it's kind of like these, like an arrow almost on both sides. And then I'll come above before we're done. I'll come right here and just draw a curve, another curve right here over his eye. Okay, so hopefully that wasn't too bad. And then let's bring this, let's continue this out. A curve, bring this in. And okay, so then now that we're done with that, let's go out. We're gonna bring this in and bring it in. And then now that we have that, let's come back down here. So we're gonna start to draw the sides. So let's come out right here towards his face. We're gonna draw one strand comes out and tuck it in. And we're gonna put in his ear right here. So that's what we need to draw that strand first. Draw a curve for ear. And his other ears on this side, but before we do that, let's do the same thing. We're gonna come right here and pop in a little strand right there as well. But before I finish that strand, let's put, pop in the ear. So put in a little curve right there. And then let's draw the bottom, his hair on the bottom right here. And in. So same thing over here. And one more right there for the bottom. Okay, so the reason I stop right here is because I want to give it, I need to poof this out. So let's come back to the center first. Come right in the center, so say about right here. And I'm going to pop this up and pop this up. And I'm going to bring one strand down and right here. It's gonna come out and about right here. I'm gonna come out and then in. So you're kind of creating this poof part right here and now everything comes in. So that's why I need to go down on this side, same thing, right about here and go in. And then now I can go ahead and finish this strand right there. Okay, so that's your goal basically to have this part come out and then everything just kind of tapers in. So. Hopefully I was able to help you with that. And then um, we have even more details we need to put. I'm just gonna bring in more of these strands. And towards the end of these strands are these lines that I'm just gonna quickly put in for some detail. You can do this when you're coloring as well. So if you don't want the black Harsh black line. Okay, there. Pretty much done for the head. Okay, finally, let's draw the body. Sorry that that took forever. Now let's come to the body and let's draw a neck. So right here and here. Give him a tiny little neck and his shoulders come out and out. So just like Tanjiro, the drawing I did of Tanjiro, I'm going to come out. And right here, we're going to give him his little collar. So we're going to come in, dip down, and then come up. And then draw a center line right here. Then let's come right here and we're going to draw his robe. So this is gonna be the beginning of his robe and just gonna bring this down to simplify everything. 
And I'm going to come about right here and here. So I'm just bringing out his robe. So before we finish that, let's figure out where his body is. So where his chest and his waist, so we know how far to bring everything down. So let's say about right here, I'll stop and put in his belt. So his chest and now his waist and thicken this up for his waist. And for some details, let's draw a little buckle in here for detail. And then let's bring this straight down. So it's about right, say here. Very baggy pants. So still right in the center. And this is where his legs are going to start. So now that we know that, we know we can bring this robe down more. So his pants, let's bring this down about right here. And I'm gonna bring it in. Same thing over here. So this is where his pants are going to start. So let's bring his rope down all the way, almost to the end, but right here, a little bit higher. And I'm going to flare this out. And about right there, connect. So same thing over here to about right here. And connect. Okay, so then now we can go ahead and finish his pants. So about right here, I'm going to come out. Just give a little bit of wobble and in. So same thing here. Wobble and in. And then for his legs, so we're continuing. So let's bring this down about right here and here. And I'm going to cut it off and his feet. So I'm going out, out, and then connect at the bottom. So same thing on this side. So continuing the angle right there and up there. And his feet. Okay, so now for some details, um, let's give him a little curve right here for his sole and then his flip flop shoes. I know they're not called flip flops, but. <laughs> For the bottom part right here for the band between his toes. There for his Japanese shoes. Okay, so then uh, for some details on this bottom shin part right here, uh, let's draw a little bow, a diamond, and another bow. and another diamond. So same thing over here. So this is just a simplified version of his outfit. Okay, so now that we have that in, let's, uh, before I forget, draw some crease lines right there. And then his arms. Let's come to the side right here. And I'm just going to simplify it, bring it out to about right here. So I want his hands to be in this area and in. So same thing on this side. Just tuck it in and about right there. And in. So let's work on this side first, just simple hand, two curves, just a fist and connect and then a little curve right here. And then on this side, let's have him holding a sword. So to simplify it, I'm going to come right here, right underneath. So his hand is right here. I'm going to give a little angle 
And I'm going to draw an oval next to his robe so we don't have to see too much to cheat a little bit. And then I'm going to come in, curve, and out. So this is the hand, um, that's the handle for the sword. And I'm going to bring this out. See about that much. And let's give it a blade. About right here. And in. There, so hopefully that looks correct that he's holding his sword. And almost forgot, let's come right here and give it a little curve for the back of his robe. And then let's draw all the details in his robe. So I'm just gonna come in here really quickly and just draw a bunch of triangles very lightly. And you can definitely do this when you're coloring so you don't have this harsh black line around your triangles. But I just wanted to show you. Now that we're done with the pattern, let's come in here and almost forgot to draw some details right here. So I'm gonna put in three circles for his shirt. And I bring a straight line down through the circles. And then a little white part right here, just a little indication. So they're all done. I really hope you love how Zenitsu here turned out just as much as the one I did of Tanjiro and of uh, Nezuko. <laughs> and um, I hope I, hopefully I didn't overcomplicate it and that was I made it fun and easy for you to follow along with me. Thanks so much for watching and before you go definitely uh, check out the fan art video after I'm done babbling. And um, if you see your fan art, um, definitely comment below and let me know. Thanks so much for watching. And if you loved it, please make sure to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you won't miss any new Jurassic Cube videos. See you later.